subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Create this video right here and I will give another update after this probably in 2019. Okay, so let's get started here with the collection of phones. So beginning with the first generation iPhone. So first on hand is this device and it does power on still. It's running a very old version of iOS, maybe like iOS two or three, somewhere in there. Let's go ahead and look at settings and take a look. Guess before I go in here, see if you can get it before I show you. So let's go into general and let's go to about and you can see it's running iOS 3.1.3. So if you were correct, if you said iOS 3 here for the iPhone 1. So I have this one on deck. That one I found on eBay for about 30 bucks. If you find these new, they're actually thousands of dollars for that guy because it's a vintage classic item. Now here is the iPhone 3GS. I actually don't have the 3G, uh, the one before this. And you can see that I don't have no power in this one, but this is on board. This had the infamous cracking issue at the bottom of the plastic back. And there hasn't been many plastic iPhones since then. I don't have the 5C yet. I should probably get that one in here soon. And I don't have the 4, but I do have the iPhone 4S. So the iPhone 4S, really classic. I remember Steve Jobs announcing the 4 series on you know on stage it was one of the best you know announcements ever because this phone just really was a sturdy looking design and really classy for the time not a lot of phones really looked this good at that time so the iphone 4s is a really beautiful device well the 4 series in general just a beautiful piece of kit and uh, i think the 4s came out after the passing of steve jobs let's go ahead and get on down to the iphone 5 so I have an iPhone 5, I'm sure you've seen this, and I've actually used all of these phones in videos in the past, so you're probably not surprised at seeing some of these if you've been watching this channel for a very long time. You have, would have seen all of these in videos already. This is that one that I have that's all you know scuffed up and stuff. I really don't recommend an iPhone 5 anymore. Very old, very slow device, but still the first four inch iPhone that was really a hot seller for its time. And uh, still, you know, a lot of people are probably still rocking this in some places, but you know, it's, it's, it's days are over with the iPhone five, but it did bring us that four inch display before the touch ID, we had the home button. So no touch ID there. Then, you know, some of the most popular phones on this channel, the iPhone five S actually have two of these, the space gray iPhone and the gold iPhone 64 gig here, 16 gigabyte version here. Both of these do power on. I got iOS 12 running on this one and it's pretty crazy to see that you're still going to get iOS 12 on iOS 11 here on the iPhone 5s we're really looking for some speed improvements on these guys later this year so stay tuned if you want to see if the 5s actually does get you know much faster in the later betas I've already done a comparison but we're not seeing huge updates here so far 5s introduced that you know touch ID scanner to the iPhone series really nice stuff had a great camera for its time cleaned up that those nicks that the iPhone 5 were getting really hot seller in the iPhone 5s I'm gonna go ahead and skip down to the iPhone 6 I have two of these you guys know that I cracked my gold one and you know I made a video don't buy the iPhone 6 and a lot of people said I'm only making that because it's cracked no that's not why I made that video I made that video because I think the iPhone 6 is just too slow to keep up with the demands of 2018 when you, you have so many options in this price range you know, if you're going to buy one right now is what I'm saying. Not not like if you already have one, but if you're going to buy a new phone, there's phones in this price category that are just a little bit better. So iPhone 6 here, we do have the hottest selling iPhone of all time, 4.7 inch display. And it brings that, you know, that design that could bend, you know, on the 6 Plus series, but very light, very classy, clean. And it was a really a leap forward for the iPhone series. You do have the headphone jack still on board. And I think they were beautiful devices for the time and really groundbreaking for Apple. Um, you know, a lot of people say, well, bezels, are you serious? But at the same time, Apple sold hundreds of millions of these things. So iPhone 6 are just, just killer phones in terms of, you know, the success they brought to Apple. The iPhone 6S is up next. So the iPhone 6S cleaned up most of the problems that the iPhone 6 had when it comes to its build quality. And it gave you a better camera and a much better speed with the Apple A9, a leaps and bounds in the processor department 
for the 6S and people using the 6S today will still attest to how great this phone has been for them and you know it's really good and now that you can get a uh, battery replacement the iPhone 6s remains a strong option in the marketplace actually I think it was in India they're bringing this phone back I might be wrong on this on the country there but one of the countries they're bringing this phone back at a low price point because it's it's still a really good device here on the iPhone 6s so 3d touch was announced here as well and really I think the story with the iPhone 6s was the bump in RAM the better processor speed and the build quality so Really nice refinements to the iPhone 6, and I enjoyed the 6S much more than the iPhone 6. Then in these small iPhones, we got the iPhone 7. So I got the matte black one. Now, if you watched my prior series on this device, you would have noticed I had the rose gold edition. I swapped that out for the black one. No longer keep that one. No sense of keeping two on board at the time. And you could see iPhone 7 brought the capacitive home button. iPhone 7 brought... You know, beautiful cleaned up, no antenna lines on the rear, multiple colors. The camera wasn't that much better than the 6S, but the A10 Fusion chip quad core, you know, that was not a, that was a dual core in the iPhone 6S. So really nice stuff here, 4K camera and a little bit cleaned up calibration when it comes to that display. So still LCD, but it still just looked better because of the way they calibrated the colors on this display so the iphone 7 a really hot phone it's one of the best sellers currently right now because of its drop in the price point a lot of people are still buying the iphone 7 i made a video about this just a couple days ago actually i think it was the prior video iphone 7 great device you can still pick up now that is in the collection as well and lastly on these small iphones we're going to hop over to the iphone 8 this is the glass you know gray version they're all glass actually but you can get this in multiple colors you can get it in red silver gold and the space gray but the space gray is you notice how every uh black iphone kind of looks a little different they don't none of them look the same that's one thing i notice about all apple products they don't keep their you know black color or their space gray color all the same but the silver ones pretty much all do look the same so the iphone 8 brings huge processor improvements to the a11 bionic macbook level geekbench super great performance still a 4.7 inch display but it gives you true tone it gives you you know wireless charging and better battery life than any of the small iphones before it so it's the ultimate refinement it took four years or four generations to get to this one well you could say three this will be the fourth to get to this stage and this this iphone also made a lot of people upset because apple you know didn't change the design but that's what the iphone 10 was for but people who like a standard 16 by 9 aspect ratio display really are gonna love the iphone 8 and this was actually the best-selling iphone in the prior quarter i believe it was and then the galaxy s9 plus was right behind it so iphone 8 still definitely a huge player in the smartphone market so let's move on to the plus so we got to go back to the iphone 6 here i do have the iphone 6 plus i actually just added this one to the collection here and never had the 6s plus or the 6 plus excuse me before this one has the apple a8 one gig of ram just like the iphone 6 this is the one that infamously bend it on we all know what channel uh this is that phone right here and if you actually bend it you know it, it really can you can still see the flex a little bit but I don't recommend trying to bend this phone because it definitely will if you put enough pressure on the iPhone 6. And this really pushed a lot of other manufacturers to really test the bendability and like the durability of the bodies of these phones. And I think that this was a crucial phone to improve the quality of the Plus series in the iPhone 6 Plus. But it had an 8 megapixel camera, 5.5 inch retina display. And it was actually close to $1,000 when it first came out for the highest capacity version. So a lot of people don't remember that. But the iPhone 6 Plus was up there near the $1,000 price if you got the 128, the, the highest capacity version of this phone. But a lot of people picked this one up as well, and some people are probably still rocking this or still thinking about buying this phone. I got a video coming up soon on should you buy the iPhone 6 Plus, but pretty good big smartphone for its time. Okay, moving on to the 6S Plus. The iPhone 6S Plus does give you basically everything I said about the 6S in a bigger package, so I'm not going to go on too much about the 6s it did bring a rose gold edition the 6s but the 6s plus was a very you know crucial update to the 6 plus because now you had that sturdy 7000 series aluminum that wouldn't bend at all you I mean you could squeeze this as hard as you want this was a durable device in the iphone 6s plus so really beefy heavy well not heavy but really beefy strong sturdy fast great camera smartphone and i'm sure millions are still using the 6s plus to this day i think i skipped over the iphone se so we have the iphone se over here we all know 
the iPhone SE here to, you know, iPhone 6s and small bodies here for this device. And this is a 16 gig on this one and a 32 gig here, rose gold and black. I got two of them to do side by side comparisons between different iOS versions. A lot of you requested that. So that's why there's two of them here. We all know it's just a 6s in a small body and that just seems to work. A lot of people looking for an upgrade here on this one, but we haven't seen it yet. And I thought they were really going to bring it, but they all disappointed us on uh, WWDC, didn't they? Next up, we're going to go back to the pluses, the iPhone 7 Plus, and let's just bring the 8 Plus here to speed things up a little bit. The 7 Plus was a fantastic phone. I really loved it because it just was like the refinement version of the iPhone 6S Plus, and it had the capacitive home button, great cameras on the rear, the beautiful jet black color. You had the matte black color as well. Red came in this phone, multiple color options, very light, just a speed demon of a phone. And then the 8 Plus came along. I'm like, how can they improve the iPhone you know, 7 Plus? So it was more not a big update to the iPhone 8 Plus. I thought they were super similar. Just the 8 Plus brought, you know, it brought the wireless charging. It brought the A11 Bionic, which will make it last longer into the future. And uh, it actually significantly improved the battery life. So the 8 Plus is definitely the best of all the Plus series, obviously. And uh, But I don't think if you had a 7 Plus, it was really worth to update to the 8 Plus. The only reason I brought it is because, well, we're doing reviews on this channel. So we have to review the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's save what some can argue the best for last, the Apple iPhone 10, the future of iPhone. Now, if you've been watching this entire video, you probably noticed, take a look at all these iPhones, take a look at the 10. It's so much different and it is definitely the future of the iPhone. I think we're gonna see a similar trend that we've seen with all these other iPhones, how Apple's gonna keep this design for several years, introduce us another design, and just ride that one out for another few years as well. I mean, Apple is genius at this whole business thing. They know what they're doing. Keep a design, throw a little more features in there, keep that cash cow coming. We know how it goes. But the iPhone 10, really a great super AMOLED display sourced by Samsung. That's why it has such a great display. And then on the rear, we have the you know dual cameras here, great cameras, and the wireless charging, stainless steel. Uh, I think they had stainless steel on one of the older iPhones. Just a really fast device, and you know, a lot of people don't like the notch, but there's a lot going on for the iPhone 10. It's definitely the future of Apple here. Do you have an iPhone 10? Let me know down below. That's it. That's my mega iPhone collection part four. If you have any video.